Hey, what's up guys, this is Premier, and today I uploaded a video saying that I changed my F keys in a video, and a lot of people were like saying, what, how do you change your F keys, or how do you, did you fix it and everything, because I can't adjust to these 07 F keys, and damn right, I can't as well, I, uh, have my escape button, like, far away from F6, which I need, which, which you need for magic, you know, and, like, all the buttons are different than old RuneScape, and I was used to the old RuneScape F keys, and, uh, yeah, so I tried change, I like uh, looked it up and I found some programs that you can change your F keys uh, with. So I only have to use F key F1 to F5 right now. Like the old RuneScape yeah, that you use. Um, and I used a program called Sharp Keys and it's right on the screen right now. And basically what you do, you bind your F key, like F1 to actually press escape and the other way around, or other way around, uh, maybe I said it wrong. And basically, you do it with all the five F keys that you need for PKing, which is like uh, inventory, uh, magic, special attack, uh, gear, and prayer. Well, that's what I used, actually. And that's basically F1 to F5 on the real RuneScape, so, or, yeah, the RuneScape before ESE, I don't know what it is now, still. And basically, what you have to do, you have to download this um, program. It is completely safe. Trust me on this one, guys. Um, it is a program that's been around for ages, and it has nothing to do with RS, so it is no virus or something. And if you don't trust it, you don't have to try like uh, download it or something. So it's been around since 2004. What can I say? It's it's yeah, it's been there for ages. And in 2004, they didn't even have F keys on RuneScape. So, yeah, it is a program um, where you can change your F keys with, or any key, actually. I, I can, show you that, can show you that in a bit. But basically, you, what you have to do, open a program, and then and it will say nothing here. And you press Add. And then you type any key, like which one you have to type, like bind it to. You just do, um, yeah. You type, uh, you click on Type Key, press F1. It comes up with uh, a, uh, like a button which actually is linked to it or whatever, and then press OK of course, and then you um, bind it to the other one, and you do that as well by pressing Type key, and then you press like uh, Escape or something. So um, yeah, that's basically it. And if you want to remove it, then you just you press OK after that. And uh, now this came up, but it isn't right because I already have it installed like all the correct uh, F keys so I delete that one but basically what you have to do is copy this like this list and it should be alright for you if when you look well basically yeah you copy this and then you um, press right to registry and then it will say key mapping has been successfully restored to the registry please log out or reboot for these changes to take effect so yeah, the point is, like, reboot, and your F keys will be changed. And if you don't want these F keys to, uh, like, yeah, be on your computer all the time, you just delete them all again. And uh, you should be fine, because if you want to, like, refresh a browser page or something, you can't do it with F5 anymore. You have to do, like, F3, because that's the refresh button, you know? F3 is F5 right now, you see? And other key, other keys. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped you out. And um, yeah, thank you for watching.